Some surprising news coming out of Tuscaloosa today. Uh, Steve Sarkeesian, the offensive coordinator, one and done. That's in the literal sense. He does the national championship, and now he's going to be the offensive coordinator for the Atlanta Falcons. Joining me now from Tuscaloosa, Reiner Saban. And Reiner, what are your thoughts on this just initially? Um, you know, what have we learned about how this whole scenario played out, and when did Nick Saban actually find out that this was, this was going to happen? It was pretty shocking from everything I've heard and also uh, from – what Dan Quinn said at the Falcons uh, news conference uh, announcing that Steve Sarkeesian was going to be hired and also talking about the Super Bowl uh, loss that they suffered. But um, in general, like it, it seemed like it played out very quickly in the, in the last 24 hours. I mean, you talked to Nick Saban last night and uh, things uh, went down. There was tweets about how the Falcons staff members found out via the media themselves. So. It seemed to have been a kind of a sudden situation, and it's uh, it's pretty shocking that you know Alabama has to go find another offensive coordinator at this stage of the of the year, especially you know four or five weeks after the season ended. Yeah, and I imagine Nick Saban's going to want to move pretty quickly on this. Uh, so the big question is, who are some potential candidates? Who do you think lines up pretty well in that position? Well, I mean, you you, you heard the names uh, like Mike Loxley, who's on staff right now, just was promoted to offensive assistant right now and has a kind of an undefined role at this moment and then you have Billy Napier who just left to be the Arizona State offensive coordinator mm -hmm. um, but you know he obviously has a ton of experience with coach, uh, coach Saban and so it should be uh, a situation where he would be able to fit in pretty seamless, seamlessly and then you have Mark Helfrich who is the Oregon coach has worked with the dual threat quarterback uh, Marcus Mariota so he could be a fit and then Chip Kelly is kind of the wild card and Certainly somebody who'd be interesting, but I don't know if his philosophy really dovetails with Nick Saban's because he emphasized plays run as opposed to possessing the football. And Nick Saban's all about giving his defense the best chance to succeed. And that would mean, you know, taking time off the clock when you're on offense, which is something that Chip Kelly seems to not, not really uh, believe in. Yeah, Reiner, so several candidates uh, being targeted right now, and you can imagine, as I said before, he's going to try to make a quick move on this. What do you think the timetable is for this position, and, and how quickly do you think Nick Saban wants to get somebody in that role? I would think it would be probably within the next couple of weeks, uh, at least. I mean, certainly he's going to want somebody in before spring practice to install the system and uh, whatever tweaks that he, he does make. So I think it's going to be a pretty quick situation, and I'm sure Nick Saban even – after you know uh, Steve Sarkeesy was hired and he thought that it was wrapped up, still had a list of candidates uh, behind him if the, in case that didn't happen. And uh, so I'm sure he's got a list. He's always preparing contingency plans, and that's just his mo. So I think you know it's going to be pretty pretty quick, and he's already identified you know his list of targets. All right, Reiner, thank you so much again. Surprising news coming out of. Uh, Alabama today that Steve Sarkeesian is no longer the offensive coordinator. He's heading to the Atlanta Falcons. And of course, for more updates on that story as we continue to follow it, you can visit us on AL.com.